Um, one of the questions I'm interested in here is that usually around the globe people hunger for information, and especially when usually. they think they're being denied facts. Which is all the time. But what seems to be happening in Russia is that people begin to presume that these conspiracies are in fact true uh, as they're you know, introduced to this on a daily basis. Uh, Fake, soft voice, trying to sound like he's on your side, convincing. He's the credible guy. Listen to his voice. The, the, you repeat it over and over and over again, and suddenly the, the conspiratorial theories begin to take on. He's the reasonable guy here. Um, Joker. A life of its own. And I wondered if maybe the panelists could ex explain the factors that make this Russian disinformation campaign so seemingly so effective. Keep in mind, I don't care nothing about Russia today. Active uh, from some of the polling I've seen inside Russia in terms of like the credibility that people have uh, to information which would logic would contradict. Uh, but also, I was going to ask you a little bit about. Um, the platform that it provides for fringe and radical views, uh, not just in Russia, but worldwide. Uh, who is the one that decides something is fringe? You mean the people who stage fake shootings, they get to tell you, oh, it's fringe to expose the fake shooting? I don't think that makes sense. As, as no. sort of the, the extreme you look like an idiot right now. is given a, yeah. a platform mm -hmm. uh, for what otherwise would not be considered reputable television oh you know most right. broadcasts wouldn't have on the sell out the, tv the types of voices uh, with these conspiracy tv got to tell you everything that the white house wants you to know there is but maybe and you could explain banker. the process that rt un undertakes to select it's bigger than rt it's experts what i'm saying here um and i'll just turn it over to the panel for your responses the panel Um, that's an interesting question, Ooh. selecting the Wait experts, because that word... Oh, there she go. That's the girl who did the fake resignation, Liz Wall. I think is used loosely in, in Russian television. Yep, that's her with the robot voice. Essentially, anybody that is, is an expert is somebody that is willing to tone to, to toe the Russian line and to... to I mean, they could be from the far left, they could be from no, the far no, right, no. they could have... Uh, unconventional, deranged uh, theories. Right, um, right, right. It didn't matter, and sometimes the producers would would scour the internet for for these for these experts. So, right, what qualifies as an expert? It's, it's kind of murky what that voice. is, and why it's effective. I think you had mentioned because it's true. Not talking about the disinformation stuff they put out, but the actual stuff where they expose and things. Yeah. That uh, it provides this That's voice right. for, for fringe voices. Fringe voices. Everybody don't want to be a sellout like you, Joker. Extremists. And it works because it provides uh, a place for these people. Oh. A place where these people can congregate and feed off of each other's biases. Oh, uh, it, it's almost like a community that is oh. almost like a cult, I oh, would say. Oh, whoa. That That's is strong formed uh, from a online sellout. and they mobilize and they... They feel like they are part of some enlightened right. um, fight against the establishment. Uh, you definitely not that. Oh, what, are you coming against people who fight against the establishment? Oh, you, you need to sit down. Wait a minute. She is sitting down. That they, um, and they, they find a home. They find, find a place a home, where right? they're heard, uh, and no. uh, they find a sense of belonging. Uh, no, you're wrong. You don't understand. You're a sellout. You don't know anything about fighting against the establishment. Sorry. They find an outlet. Stop trying to make sense out of it. Where they can, where they can, um, a platform eh. to, to voice their deranged views. Yeah, why are you speaking? And, um. Why are you on the panel? I know that. You're not an expert in this field. Uh, formerly of. Read the paper, Joker. Uh, of Radio Free Europe, uh, Mr. Lack, who has, uh -huh. has since departed, had gotten a lot of, uh, criticism oh, for okay. comparing. Russia today and Russian propaganda to to ISIS oh, propaganda. Oh, yeah, of course, because they're working for the system there. And, and while yes, there there is a strong difference. We're talking about a terrorist organization 
versus a, a government, uh, you know, a nation state. I think he did have credence in, in comparing the strat strategy that's there. Can't even say it right because you're lying, Joe. By using the Internet uh -huh. to mobilize people right. that feel displaced, uh -huh. that feel like they've been on the outskirts of society. It's not even that complicated and give them a place where they can find a sense of belonging uh -huh. and maybe uh, make a difference in their own way. Um, and it's a problem, and, and we see that... It's it a problem for who, Joker? For you? A sellout? Because you want to keep making money off this fraudulent system. Ooh. It's effective. Uh, we see that they are um, shaping the discussion online, on message boards, on Twitter, on social media. They're getting exposed too much. That's why it's a problem. And uh, the Shaping internet, the you know, we, we thought that it would be this place where, where uh, you know, it's wonderful in a lot of ways because... Uh, it, isn't it that place? A lot of different viewpoints and, and a lot of different people have a voice like never before. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it's provided a forum where disinformation... Where the mainstream media has no credibility at all. They're exposed for all their lies. People are actually able to see the truth for the first time. Information false theories, uh, people that are just trying to make a name for themselves, block Oh, like you joking when you did the fake resignation? Bloggers or whatever that have absolutely no accountability for the truth oh. are able to rile up. Um, it's funny how all the stuff she's saying all accounts for her. Mass amount of people online. Well, I, no accountability for the truth. I think or, what's uh, interesting cause. about it, I mean, the use of raw violence, which they do, do a lot of on their YouTube, Mm -hmm. 1.4 billion hits is a lot of hits. Yeah. So people will go to the, the use of raw violence, and then that will be used as uh, you know, part propaganda. of a thesis, thesis. on uh, some conspiracy theory right, that right. then yeah. is, is played out. Mm. Uh, I, I uh, wondered, uh, uh, Peter, your, your take on this. Listen, this question, I think you've hit on, on one of the key issues here. Uh, which Who goes, is this? Takes us all the way through the problems at stake. They're not fringe anymore, these groups. Uh, uh -oh. We're talking about a France where Jean-Marie Le Pen's far-right party is surging in the polls. We're talking about a Hungary about where Jobbik, uh, the far-right party, you is rising and rising. We're talking about 20% of parliamentarians in the European Parliament having what we used to think were fringe, very pro-Russian views. Are waking up. Uh, among the people who vote for these parties, there is a lot of people who believe in People like this don't like it. Sellouts. Conspiracies, because they're working on a similar thing. They try to compare you to ISIS. Thing. They, conspiracies happen when people don't trust. Who are also sellouts. Trust institutions around them. Don't trust parliament. Don't trust media. If everyone's lying to you, then there must be a shadowy hand. So the Kremlin is in this loop. It is pushing there, out. There is a shadowy hand, Joker. That's, that's just what it is. Out more conspiracies to fan that audience. They are funding these parties. You know, we know that the Kremlin is funding Jean-Marie Le Pen in France. These I are not French parties. This is actually there, now but, becoming the mainstream. You know. And this is very, very frightening. Um, frightening for who, Joker? Who are you speaking about? I mean, who are you conspiracy speaking for? is what is conspiracy? It's sort of a linguistic You don't know. Stick sabotage on the uh, infrastructure of reason. You know, you can't have a reality. The infrastructure on a new world order, the coming age of reason that they want based discussion Look that up, when everything becomes conspiracy. In Russia, the whole discourse is conspiracy. Everything is conspiracy. When an, a genuine opposition person like Alexei Navalny emerges in Russia, the first story the Kremlin does, he's one of ours. He's a conspiracy as well. Don't believe in him. It's all about destroying belief in anything. When you have no belief in truth, then you can't believe in anything. But also more insidiously than that, look, our, I'm going to get very grand now, our global order is based on the idea of a reality-based politics. Yeah? If, 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 if that reality-based sort of, you know, base is destroyed, then you can't have, you know, international institutions and international dialogue. I mean, I remember a quote from, a, I think, Franciscan Man, monk. These people are full of crap. Second. Red, silver, J. Who? All I gotta say.